What's up, people? Salty McFly. Right off the bat, I want to apologize. I have not uploaded in five days. It's my longest I've ever gone without putting up a video. I had some personal things going on, and I couldn't do it. So I'm sorry. But I did get to watch the multiplayer reveal last night. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. It's not a trailer breakdown where I go frame by frame and this, that, and the other. There are plenty of other people out there doing that. This is just my opinion on the game. Now, the thing that most people did not want to see were exo movements or advanced movements. But after the reveal trailer a month ago, we seen the jump and we seen the movements. We knew we were going to get it. We just didn't know how bad it was going to be. It seems like it's not as bad. It seems like when you jump up in the air, you spend a little more time almost floating. Not like Destiny. Destiny, you jump up in the air. You feel like Michael Jordan. You're up there forever. Those of you know Michael Jordan, who else can we say? Or LeBron James. I'll, I'll do a little new school. Michael Jordan, a little old school for those out there who know what I'm talking about. It almost feels like a disadvantage in jumping up in the air like that because you're going to get shot down really, really quick. Now, the wall running in the game doesn't really bother me. It's not going to be as crazy as Advanced Warfare. People didn't like how chaotic it was. Me, personally, it didn't really bother me. I did want the old school Call of Duty to come back this year. It's not going to. I wanted the boots on the ground, but I'm just looking at the glass half full. It doesn't seem like it's going to be as bad as Advanced Warfare with all of the movements. The other thing I want to talk about is just the look of the game. Just looking at it, you can tell it's a Treyarch game by the colors and the maps, how they look. It looks a lot more refined because it's made for next gen for the first time. I'm looking forward to it other than that. Now, the other thing that I've seen that is brand new is these classes, I think. It's either the classes or even the characters themselves have special abilities or special weapons. Right off the bat, you see the first guy with an assault rifle. It's what David Von Der Haar wishes he looks like running around with what looks like an assault rifle. And his special ability, you can see in the bottom right corner, it, it's, it's spooling up. And it's some sort of gravity spikes, like the ground pound from Advanced Warfare. Which seems like it's pretty cool. It could be useful in like capture the flag or any sort of mode where there's an objective. You have to capture something, domination, anything like that. That seems kind of cool. It doesn't bother me at all. The very next one you see is some girl running around with a shotgun. And hers really kind of upsets me because it's a, a seven-shot pistol called the Annihilator. And this thing is a one-shot kill. I hate one shot kill weapons i feel like people abuse them they are the most overpowered thing in any video game when it takes one shot to kill someone when you have an assault rifle it takes three four five shots to kill someone people are going to abuse it over and over and especially one like this that you can get a collateral with this let's check it's a collateral it's pretty much a hand cannon a hand cannon slash sniper rifle the next one is a sniper rifle and she wild runs, does her thing, and it's some sort of bow and arrow crossbow. It's called the Sparrow. Quick scope. Yes, there it is. The quick scope is back. It is not gone. Vondahar was not trolling. She could even shot that gun a lot quicker. They did it so it's not like it wasn't a full quick scope. Yeah, but yeah, it was. It was a straight up quick scope. And then you get this Avengers crazy ass bow and arrow where it's not like any other crossbow or any other call of duties where you shoot you have to pull the string back you have to reload it bring it down then you can shoot again you can rapid fire this song bitch super fast super quick dead dead oh get him get a collateral dead that's kind of crazy it's kind of cool that they did that Another thing that you see is the body's exploding. We're getting that brutality back that we had in World at War. I love it. They should have brought. They should have never got rid of it. The next class you see, this is crazy. This is a two-shot weapon. Two shots and you're dead. I think that's a little much. I think I don't think anything should kill you in two shots unless you legit get snipered and you're shot in the head. I don't think anything should be that quick. I feel like a lot of people are going to be using these weapons just because they're overpowered. But it also seems like you die really, really fast in this game. Everything that you're seeing, the people dying super quick. I think they knew all the problems they were having with Black Ops 2. People complaining about people absorbing bullets and the bullets not registering. And the same thing that Activision did with Ghosts, how you die really fast in Ghosts. It kind of just makes it seem like there's not as much lag and there's not as much hit detection problems when you die really fast. So that's what I think Treyarch did with this game coming up in Black Ops 3. Another thing that you see is this pistol. Look at this. One, two shots. Two shot hip fire with the pistol. And then there's this thing right here. The glitch. Jump up. Boom. And you're backing it. What the fuck was that? Bring that back one more time. You see it in the corner spooling up. 
and the guy jumps up. It brings you back, I think, maybe two or three seconds from wherever you used it. And I don't know about this. Again, all these things are going to depend on how fast you can actually gain these abilities and weapons during a match and how many times you can get them. Because if you can run around with that pistol and get it six, seven times a match, it's going to be ridiculous. People are going to be. I can see people getting upset, getting one shot killed over and over and over again. So, this glitch thing is crazy. Then you got this guy right here with what looks like an F2000 maybe. I don't know if this is like the heavy weapon system guy going around. And this is the one where his arm turns into, it's called the Sith or the Scythe, however you want to pronounce it. And he just goes in, tears everybody up. Looks kind of cool coming through the smoke and all that stuff like that. So, that's what I get from the game. It looks kind of crazy. We're going to go through and we're going to show, the, they show the gunsmithing at the end. I think it's pretty cool. I like how you can make your own camos. That's my, I had that idea a couple Call of Duties ago. I had to tell my friends, it's cool if you can make your own camos and all these other things. This gunsmithing is not brand new to first-person shooters. It just hasn't been in Call of Duty. So let me know what you guys think about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you're looking forward to it, if you're not looking forward to it. The first time I watched the trailer, I wasn't really into it. I was like, look at all this complicated shit. But the more and more I watch it, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. And then tonight after the official Black Ops 3 conference, they're going to tell us exactly what's in it. There's not going to be any more speculation. Well, there might be some. They're going to keep some secrets close to the chest. But we're going to know exactly what we're getting into this year with Call of Duty. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for sticking around and listening. If you're new, subscribe, all that stuff, uh, it would be awesome. Thank you. Salt to my flat.